Hey guys, so now Joe Biden is officially the 46th president of the United States and I do want to see how the world as well as people here in the United States feel about that and taking a look at Joe Biden's approval rating throughout the last couple of months. So before we get into this, make sure you join Discord server if you have not, the link to which is at the very top of the description below. So taking a look at this Gallup article, this is basically their latest polling on the approval of Joe Biden. So this is Joe Biden's transition approval, not his uh, job approval or favorability. Basically, how Americans view what he has done throughout the last two months uh, before taking office. And it sits high at 68%. That is a very, very high uh, approval rating for a transition and considering how polarized Americans are today 68% is a really really high number I mean if you look at Joe Biden's favorability is 57% and Kamala Harris 53% I mean 57% approval rating that is miles higher than Donald Trump's approval rating has ever been and it is higher than basically every other major leader that is currently in office. Of course, if you were to find someone like Barack Obama or Bill Clinton, their numbers would be much higher. But at this point, 57% for someone that actually has a job in the government really is high compared to Pelosi, McCarthy, McConnell, Schumer, Trump, or Pence. 57% is higher than all of them. Now, if you look at his transition approval compared to other presidents of the past, you see it's not that great. It is still not bad, though, because Joe Biden is 68 percent. That is tied for the second best in terms of what percentage of Americans approve of it. Of course, right there tied with former President Bill Clinton, George W. Bush was at 61. That was because he won a pretty controversial election against Al Gore, where the Supreme Court had to step in and do something about that. While well, Barack Obama's approval rating for his transition was historically high at 83%, Donald Trump historically low at 44%, and yes, the disapproval for Joe Biden is very high at 31%, much higher than Clinton's, Bush's, or Obama's, but because of how polarized we are, there are a lot more Americans that have a very, very strong feeling on all of these issues, because if you go back to 1993, I mean... One in five Americans really didn't have too much of an opinion or one in six on the transition for Bill Clinton. But now only one percent in this poll do not have an opinion on Joe Biden's uh, transition. Now, looking at the numbers here. For um, each political party, you see among Republicans, Joe Biden's approval of his transition sits at a very low 27%, independents 71%, Democrats 96%. The gap between Democrats and Republicans is 69%. For Donald Trump, it was 87% of Republicans to just 13% of Democrats and 33% of independence. So Donald Trump had a less amount of support from Republicans than Joe Biden does from Democrats, a hugely smaller amount of support from independents, and half the amount of support from the opposite party. For Barack Obama, of course, it was historically high, 72% among Republicans. That really is very, very high. And yeah, Barack Obama was really historically popular in that. Bill Clinton much lower, but he did defeat an incumbent Republican that many people did like. So his was lower among Republicans, also lower among Democrats, and lower among Independents, but he had a higher average. So you, know, you saw Barack Obama, 24%, that was the gap, and now you... Fast forward 12 years, you're at 69% difference. So that is really just how polarized we are. And for Biden's cabinet positions, most of them think they're pretty good. In terms of his outstanding, Joe Biden has the best cabinet position, you know, um, with the opinions of the people at 14% outstanding. 25% say it was above average. Average 27% say that. And below average is 10% and poor 17%. Now, this is the approval rating or favorability rating of Joe Biden since 2008. So, you know, this has been done for a very, very long time. In 2008, that was when Joe Biden became a vice president. He took office, of course, in 2009. And right now, his approval rating is historically high. If you look at his highest point, it really was... You know, right before he took office there in 2008, but that was, of course, when less people knew who he was. Um, and, you know, as you as time goes on and the more people know about you, your 
you know, image does tend to decrease. And during the Obama administration, Biden's approval rating was pretty okay. It sat at around 40%, 45% for both favorable and unfavorable. But of course, after he left office, it jumped all the way up to 61%. But as it seemed like he was going to run for president, it did decrease. And Biden was pretty unpopular during the Democratic primary. However, after um, winning the nomination and now winning the 2020 presidential election, Joe Biden's favorability rating sits at a pretty high 57%. Harris is at 53%. So if you look at the favorability ratings of incoming presidents and vice presidents since 1993, Joe Biden's 57% really isn't that great. Donald Trump's, of course, was at a pretty low 40%, but Obama was 78%. And when Joe Biden came into office in 2009, he had a 53% favorability rating, which is lower than what is, is at right now. But Harris's and Biden's are the same for Bush and Cheney, around 60%, and same thing for both Bill Clinton and Al Gore. So, you know, Joe Biden is less popular than his predecessors, but of course the country was much less divided at that moment in time. So right now, Joe Biden's approval, I think he should be pretty happy about that. He is a pretty popular politician compared to many others. And if you want to compare the approval rating or favorability here for Joe Biden, this is according to a YouGov poll, very favorable, sits at 24%, some unfavorable 25%, so that's a 49% approval rating, someone unfavorable and very unfavorable, that's at 44% combined, so he does have a net approval of 5% for Joe Biden, according to this YouGov poll. If you look at the numbers for Donald Trump, I mean, it is really, really low, 41% for favorable compared to 55% for unfavorable. Now, I do also want to take a look at some other leaders just to show you how high Joe Biden's approval rating or favorability there really is. If you look at the approval rating of Mike Pence here, 40% approval, 57% do not approve of the job that Mike Pence has done. And this is a new poll, January 16th to the 19th. If you look at, I believe, Next is Kamala Harris that is still pretty high at 44%, but still not as good as Joe Biden's, of course. Um, there's some other people. If you look at Nancy Pelosi, I mean, a combined 36% for his somewhat favorable uh, and favorable for Nancy Pelosi, the House Speaker. And one more I want to take a look at. If you look at it from Mitch McConnell, I mean, 25% of people, or 20%, not even 25%, 20% of Americans view Mitch McConnell favorably, while 63% of Americans view Mitch McConnell very unfavorably. So, you know, it doesn't get any better for Chuck Schumer or Kevin McCarthy. So really, you see just how popular Joe Biden's 57% approval rating is. If I were to go to Real Clear Politics, as you can see, this is Biden's favorability throughout the 2020 election. It has been on the rise since he gained the nomination, it is now at his highest point ever since the 2020 election cycle, as he has an 8.2% favorability rating in the net positive to Donald Trump, negative 20.8% after that insurrection on the 6th of January. So as you can see, plus 8 to negative 20.8. So that is the favorability of Joe Biden coming into office. I do also want to take a look at how the world sees this. The world does is taking in Joe Biden's uh, inauguration favorably, as you can see. Most countries do approve of Joe Biden pretty overwhelmingly. You really have a very small portion of these countries that disapprove. I mean, Brazil is doing very, very good, even better in France, um, a country that really didn't like Donald Trump too much. Um, Macron didn't either. Germany you know, surprisingly a high 35%, 38%. So Germans really do view Joe Biden very, very favorably. Mexico as well. Um, that's understandable because, I mean, Mexicans do not like Donald Trump. And so they are welcoming this Biden win. India as well is also pretty high, even though Modi and Trump have had a pretty good relationship. Um, Indonesia also very, very high, very low, unfavorable there. Um, and Japan is actually surprisingly low. It's still a pretty good favorability, 42 and 10. It's a 52% favorable to 15 plus 8. That is 23% unfavorable. So still very high in Japan, but pretty low compared to some other places. Kenya, very, very high at an astounding, I mean, 89% in Kenya disapprove 
just uh, I believe that is 7%. So really, really high there in the country of Kenya. Uh, Russia is the lowest by far. I mean, Russia, he has 19% that would be unfavorably and 4% very favorably. Um, unfavorable is pretty high there in Russia. So that's not a surprise. Russia did like Trump a little bit more. Uh, if you look at the country of South Africa, 42, 27, that's pretty high. Turkey is also lower. Turkey and the United States haven't had the best relationship in the last couple of years. And then for the United States, it's all right at exactly 50% to 45% that disapprove. So generally, Joe Biden is approved of. It sits around 50 to 60%. But it typically does tend to be around 5 to 10% in the net favorable for Joe Biden. Now, many countries are just optimistic that Joe Biden will actually do something about the COVID-19 pandemic because America is still, I mean, basically the leader of the world. And we have really done nothing to combat COVID-19. And that is why, you know, basically every single country views uh, that Joe Biden can do, you know, show a lot more leadership than Donald Trump. Every single country, um, except for Russia, I believe Russia is still pretty close there. South Africa, Turkey as well, um, especially, you know, if you look at the United States, 10, 46, that's 56 percent, while around only 36 percent say that Trump could do a better job. Climate people aren't as optimistic, but still pretty optimistic, especially in the United States. Actually, that is pretty high human rights. It's pretty average, but higher than Trump's. And that is essentially it. So the world does view Joe Biden's inauguration as something positive. Most of the world is giving Biden a chance. Um, you know, these are numbers that we see typically from Americans if you go back a couple of decades. But still, this is all pretty strong for Joe Biden. And if you were to compare this to the approval rating of Donald Trump, I mean, historically low numbers, 57.9% you know 38.6 percent this is donald trump's final approval rating averaged at 38.6 percent i mean that is terrible um for a president in their first term if you look at the favorability and the not favorability but the disapproval rating there has never been a president you know in four years that has been more unpopular than Donald Trump. Of course, Bush's was lower. Yes, a lot of people did point that out. And I knew that, but I meant, you know, just in their first term, there has never been a president that has been so unpopular at this point in time. No president has left office with more people disapproving of him than Donald Trump has. And he will be remembered as the worst president in American history. There is no doubt about that. Before the insurrection, it might have been okay. He might have ranked, you know, in the low 30s, high 30s. Um, out of 45. But now, I mean, he will be dead last 45. And when Joe Biden's out of office, he will be ranked number 46. And, uh, you know, comparing this, even Jimmy Carter, Donald Trump is more unpopular than Jimmy Carter, who lost, I mean, in a huge landslide to Ronald Reagan in 1980. So that really just goes to show you how unpopular Donald Trump really is in this country at this moment in time. If you were to look at civics after the attack on the Capitol, it did take a quite a bit of a toll on his approval but civics does show a little bit less movement there um his net approval has never been good i mean donald trump has never been in the net positive ever according to civics and that is just really really sad i mean for a president that has never won the popular vote and if you were to take a look at his approval rating by state i mean really there's no state no democratic state or you know any strong or any um swing state that actually be unfavorably he's basically pretty unpopular in every single state except for states that voted for him by 20 30 percent even kansas he's viewed unfavorably in montana as well so you know even south carolina or alaska so donald trump really leaves office in disgrace i mean there's no other way to put it while joe biden's coming into office with a lot of hope and optimism from a lot of people but of course there are those republicans who are really never going to support joe biden and what he does in office but i think that biden's going to get a lot more done i think he's going to try to get a lot more things done because i mean uh, you know with obamacare trump did nothing about it he was going to repeal it he's going to replace it he tried to re repeal it but he didn't replace it with anything and he didn't even get the repeal to pass the senate and I mean, you see Donald Trump just lost a lot of states in this election. You went from this map in 2016, you flip five states, and it becomes this map in favor of Joe Biden. Um, 
so yeah donald trump uh leaving office in a very very poor note and i think that it's pretty unfortunate um you know to see you know a president leave office so unpopular and but you know it's good for biden uh people do view him a lot um i think people do view him more favorably because of just how bad donald trump has been for most people in this country so thank you guys so much for watching um joe biden basically comes into office with a pretty high favorability rating at 57 percent Kamala harris pretty high as well at 53 percent so thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure you like comment and subscribe um comment down below whether or not you think biden will be able to get most of his stuff passed through the senate even though it d does favor the democrats at this moment in time like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you have not make sure you join my discord server the link to which is at the very top of the description below thank you guys again for watching and i will see you guys in the next video